welcome back to the show, everyone. In the last episode, we got our bio tanks, which I have bought, and they are being installed as we speak. We've also been invaded by several soldiers, about a dozen total, who are upset that we kidnapped a mercenary scientist. We're taking care of them, though. Most of them are really confused right now, and those who are not are going through the rooms that don't matter here. Surprisingly, they did not open fire on my mercenaries, even though my mercenaries are, are carrying guns. Usually they do. We'll keep our eyes on these guys. And also, we have, uh, we found the Codex of Knowledge. It's here in Siberia. This is going to be a five-minute mission at a seven-point risk. And we have pissed off Hammer something fierce. So, um, I'm waiting for one final scientist to be added to this pile so we can take the time down a little bit more than that. We need to hurry and get it done because with that many people in Hammer, especially that many or with who are making that much heat, we can't afford to have too many people off this island because Hammer is going to answer with a big force. And pissing off too many countries too fast is usually the way to ruin, and Anvil is already pretty angry with us. So what I'm going to do is once we get control of the situation and get the Codex of Knowledge, we are going to lay low, and we are going to do nothing until all that heat dissipates. We'll probably have to deal with uh, Jet Chan or uh, Mariana Mamba or both at some point, uh, but we need to just lay low, relax. It'll give our scientists some time to research, hopefully, the item that will get us to eliminate Mariana Mamba once and for all, but one step at a time. I need that scientist gone, man. Where is he? Where is the scientist? Let's see. He's not in flight yet. Oh, oh, there's the boat. So, yep, there goes Mr. Scientist. Okay. So your, your peeps only leave from one of two places, either the boat or the helipad. And so I've just been bouncing around hoping to see him leave. The other problem I've got here is if an agent of good decides to pop up in Siberia, it's just going to make this even more hard more harder. It's gonna make this even harder and more delayed, and I don't like delays. I'm an evil genius, darn it. I'm a cute one at that, and I deserve to have my orders followed immediately. And it looks like the soldiers are content to just dick around in the barracks. That's great. Just look at the beds and leave me alone. Alright, the scientist has been delivered. Let's do this. 3 minutes 40 seconds. That's a huge difference by getting that scientist in there. Huge difference. So, okay, three minutes 40. It's a good thing we haven't triggered the hammer super agent yet. It probably won't be much longer before she starts to make an appearance, but if we can get this mission done quick, I think we'll be okay. The traps are a resounding success. We've managed to keep all the soldiers occupied. They're all good ranked, and these guys could cause some problems for us. I think they're the ones who are here to try to assassinate our mercenary scientist. But either way, we've got them very well controlled, and we're escorting them out of our base. All of them are confused, which is great. This is exactly what we need to have happen. Other than our spin doctors triggering the traps themselves. Hey guys, I'm back. There were a few hammer operatives asking questions around here, so I had to turn off my pirate radio signal for a few days. I hacked into the computer system at the Severnia Research Facility while I was off air and found that a top secret codex machine had just been stolen. According to the memo I decrypted, only a few brilliant scientists can make sense of the codex. But if I decipher it, it can be used to make a doomsday device. Chilling stuff, huh? Chilling stuff indeed. So now we've got the Codex of Knowledge, which will stick in the in- Oh, it's already stuck there. It's- we stick it in the laboratory. Let's, uh, can we make it- yeah, let's put it right there in the corner. And our mercenary scientists will get to work on the, uh, Codex, which will lead us to whichever doomsday weapon we want to research. And again, I'll be taking your votes, uh, to determine that. As I record this episode, I have not yet- um, we have not yet published the episode to allow you guys to vote on which uh, Doomsday Machine you want us to follow. But um, by the time you watch this one, it will have happened, and I can go from there. So we're going to spend some time... Come on, guys. 
My techies are finding things to research. There's a reason I'm not picking any of these yet. I'm waiting for them to pick the pharmacy booth. We need to research the pharmacy booth. That will get us to one step closer to getting what we need to end Mariana Mamba. We've eliminated the assassins, but more are on their way. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, I guess it was those guys. I didn't realize... It said eliminated, but we didn't actually kill them. We just wasted their time so long they they're leaving. Wait a minute. Are these more of the assassins? Who are these guys? Oh, shit, they're Hammer. Okay, so yeah, we've pissed off Hammer something fierce. It makes no... Or it's no surprise that we... That they have started bringing some dudes here. Um... Which is fine. Hopefully they'll waste their time. They're wasting their ho time in the hotel right now, which is excellent. <sighs> That's not a pharmacy booth, guys. Alright, so... Let's see, the... Codex still isn't built. I think once the Codex is built, then I basically have to choose what direction I'm gonna go with, um... Or... Maybe... Yeah, yeah, okay, so once the codex is built, then I can combine it with either the AI supercomputer, I called it a super collider before, but anyway, the AI supercomputer, the, um, whatever this is, the environment chamber, or the greenhouse, and that leads to one of the big doomsday machines. So meanwhile, we're just going to try to lock down the base here and keep researching stuff. All right, the Codex of Knowledge has been built. So now the mercenary scientist is checking it out. I think he's just eventually going to learn what it is and how it functions. I love the animations, they're so adorable. Please be the pharmacy booth. Son of a bitch! I need the pharmacy booth, people. So yeah, this little thing, it's cute. It's grabbing little tapes, it's a tape deck. Old school computers. Gotta love them. I see the fl bla flashing blinky again. The door is not a pharmacy booth, guys. I need the pharmacy booth. Alright, how's the base looking? Got soldiers pretty deep in here. Oh boy, these guys are heading toward the strong room. The hell is going on down here? Someone's dead. Oh, the infiltrators are hanging out. Okay. And they're blowing up the traps. Okay, well, now that means their lives are forfeit. Alright, meanwhile, where'd those soldiers go? Oh, yep, yeah, the soldiers are very deep in the base. And now their lives are forfeit because they're going to see the, uh, the uh, control room. But the nice thing is we've split them up. So there's two here. There's one here. I think there were a few more out here. Oh, wait, these guys don't even know what the hell's going on. That's excellent. And I need to have my evil genius make an appearance to get everyone's loyalty up. So we're going to take a risk and bring her out. All right, we're going to have to cleanse the island a little bit. Yeah, we're just going to have to start murdering some people here. Good stuff. Man, I love the range of mercenaries, man. They can hit from frickin' forever away. Codex of Knowledge is 40% analyzed. I'll remove that tag. She hasn't seen anything. And then this douche nozzle is by himself running along here. And now he's gone. Yeah, you can, you can pick off even good or exceptional soldiers and stuff pretty easily by themselves, it's when they start ganging up on you that you start to have problems. So we're gonna keep our eyes open for that. Here's some more soldiers. Really? And- wait, is that Chan- is that Jet Chan? Son of a bitch. <sighs> the super agents have a- Oh. The super agents have a knack for like, 
arriving at the worst possible moment. They are just the worst. What are you doing, Jet Chan? Are you going to kick the door? Nope, you're already distracted by our uh, spinny here, which is great. And Jet Chan just punched him in the face. Lovely. Why do I only have 74 men here? Oh, dear God. All right. Um, henchman, you are now heading to the Midwest for safety. Steal some money while you're there. And, oh, God. Oh, God. Yep, he sees the butcher. Run, you son of a bitch, butcher. For the love of God, don't be killed. Ah, oh, thank you. That is why we send them away immediately. Because if they're taken down while out in the world, nothing actually happens to them. Jet Chan just kicked another one of my dudes in the face. See, Jet Chan doesn't fall for this, for these tricks. Like, we may weaken his smarts, but he responds by murdering our spinnies. Which is why I have so many out here. He is running around like a lunatic, man. I don't know what he's doing. What? What are you doing, Jet Chan? Where are my traps? Oh, God. He might be angry enough that he's just murdering everybody that he sees. Which is not good when paired with the fact that I have all these soldiers running around my base. But we're going to let him keep doing his thing. Oh, there goes my valet. Wait. My valet's grabbing a fire extinguisher? The hell's on fire? The hell is going on over here? Oh my god! Uh, I'm gonna have to move my evil genius this away, which I do not like doing. And why hasn't an alert gone off? Because we have nobody in the training room. That's awesome. <sighs> Or, not the training room, the armory. Okay, now that the mercenary is sitting down at the chair, now we the alert has gone out that we have intruders in the base. This is going to be... Oh, no. Did he lose a life? No. Uh, he lost a life in the first island, so he's... Okay. Yeah, this is, this is going to get bad. We are probably going to have... We... We won't be starting from scratch, but we are going to have a lot of problems here. I think these guys are now running away. Task complete. Codex of knowledge fully analyzed, but the mercenary scientist always wants to bail. So I need to find his ass. There he is. Because if the mercenary scientist is allowed to leave then he gains a huge amount of heat against us. So essentially what's going to have to happen here is we've got to weather the storm because we're going to lose a lot of dudes. We're already down to 52. So we are going to be losing a lot of guys here. And since Jet Chan is fucking here, I can't... What, what the fuck? Since Jet Chan is here, I can't afford to bring in my henchmen, unfortunately. So, yeah, we're just going to have to weather the storm here. Okay, you know what, guys? Yeah, these guys are too strong. All right, don't, don't engage. Do not engage them. Do not engage them. I can't afford to have that many people die. I'm down to five mercs and one guard. Okay, we're gonna have to spend a butt ton of money to get some workers back here. So yeah, so the plan is we have to weather the storm and then we're gonna send some, we're gonna retrain our forces. We're gonna send some mercenaries out into the world and we're gonna gather some cash. Now I'm going to time skip 99% of that because it's really irrelevant. The only problem that we've got... Okay, wait a minute. Did the mer... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Just saw the... There was a dude there. Anyway. Oh, there's the mercenary scientist. I guess. Dumbass. Alright. I don't know who blew him up, but I'm happy... I'm happy about it.
There we go. He's dead. All right. And we only lost a bunch of guys in the process. That's fine. Okay. Oh, it was Ivan. You son of a bitch. You killed the mercenary scientist before he could escape and expose the evil master plan. Yes, so now it's time to research the Codex of Knowledge. Uh, like I said, I haven't yet seen your votes, but we will either create the ID Eliminator, the Earthquake Beam, or the Gravity Disruptor, depending on how you guys, what you guys want. And these guys, are you guys leaving? Oh, that's awesome, and you still have the blue ring. Oh, even better. Get the hell out of here. Bring down my heat. Fuck. All right, so we are going to time skip while I sit back and do nothing. So the frickin' uh, heat from hammer and anvil dissipate. And I've lost... I've completely lost track of Jet Chan. He may not even be here anymore, I say as I find him, and he's trying to shit kick one of my people. That's... That's lovely. And as Krobeek says, I'm in your friends list <laughs> disrupting your stream. <laughs> because I forgot to turn off the steam overlay. Anyway, we're gonna time skip until we have something. <laughs> Whatever, just just time skip, future Pyro. Well, this is the catch with Evil Genius. There are times when you find yourself incredibly screwed over. And right now I'm pretty screwed over. You can see that I have no guards and I have no mercenaries, which means I don't even have anyone to train for those positions. So it kind of feels like I'm starting from scratch, at least for the military branch, because I have to go capture another guard, train him, capture another mercenary, train him, and keep going like that. And... You know, it takes a while, and in, sometimes it's maddening. In my younger days, I am in no way sorry that I sent that message. <laughs> ah, Krobeek. Anyway, um, I, uh, uh, so I'm going to have to go out, and I can save time by just going out to capture a mercenary, and then he can train a worker up to a guard, and then they can train more guards, and so on and so on. Um, but in, in my older days, I would actually roll back the save just to save myself some time, but it's more fun this way, especially for the channel, and plus, I'm still trying to research that flippin' pharmacy booth so I can take out Mariana Mamba, so I'm just gonna keep this going. I don't care that we have no guards and mercenaries and we're at some serious risk right now. So, I am going to time skip, but not only am I going to be trying to gain up money, I've gotta get a mercenary and so forth. Um, but I'll keep the recording going just in case something interesting happens. Okay, I time-skipped for literally about five seconds, and then the pharmacy booth becomes available. You sons of bitches. So the pharmacy booth needs to cross with the biotanks and the laser, but I can't do them both yet? That's odd. I'm going to pay to just reveal. Okay, just the biotanks. All right. So probably then, like, that'll be the first part of the research, and then the pharmacy booth can cross with both the biotanks and the laser to make the chair. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to go get some mercenaries. Be right back. I've never had this happen to me before as, as long as I can recall. We have an exceptional infiltrator who is inside our base. Now, at first, I ignored him because he was by himself, and I didn't think he'd cause much damage, but he found my second barracks, and he blew up everything in it. I'm not even concerned about the money. What I'm concerned about is he blew up my equipment racks, which means I again only have a capacity of 65 minions. So I need to get the son of a bitch out of here. And I don't have my henchmen available to single target since they're still hanging out in the Midwest. So I flagged him to die. I don't know when my people are going to see him. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to let this door open. He can exit the door. And then, there we go. Now he's got a few people who see him. I want him gone. He might, he'll probably take down a yellow shirt or two before he's taken down. There we go. All right. I don't think I have any valets left. Nope. Uh, well, okay, now I have one valet, and valets are the only ones who can put out fires. So this door is just going to fucking burn. And 
meanwhile, we finished our research on the uh, pharmacy booth, and we got a we got a uh, new gas trap. But I don't even give a crap. I'm not even going to build one. Um, this is a Patriot World Service broadcast. General Gunfleet of the Patriot Council has today issued a warning to all American citizens after the recent string of kidnappings. The general urged all citizens to take basic self-preservation measures, such as not accepting candy from strangers. And now the weapon. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to end this episode, and we're going to keep playing, though. In the next episode, um, we're going we're gonna to try to fix this. And before we even think about pursuing the story. So thanks for watching, everyone. We will see... I will see... Son of a bitch. I will see you tomorrow. Maybe it's we as in all the minions. But anyway. I will see you tomorrow for another episode. Thanks for watching.